Hey guys, it's Imi, and we are back with hopefully the conclusion of Home. So we have just actually gotten home. We're... I don't know what we're expecting to find. It's either a dead wife or a missing wife. We have, like, plane tickets somewhere. So this is our kitchen table. I remember having breakfast here on this very table. Was that yesterday? Or sometime before? Do you even know how long you've been, like, not home? The beginning of this game, we woke up in a facility having no memory of anything. We don't have any idea how long we've been gone. Let's go in here. The door to the basement, it was locked. Where did I put the key? So we can go upstairs. Oh, there was a small pile of mail on the floor in front of the mail slot. How long had I been away? Why hadn't Rachel picked this up? I'm telling you, Rachel's gone. Or dead. Most of the contents were bills. There was a credit card bill there. Did I open it? Yes. Oh, this is going to be it. The plane tickets. I ripped the bill open and read it. To my surprise, it had something about canceling my credit card due to non-payment. Oh. The front door was locked from the inside. I, from the inside. I couldn't go out, though I needed to see if if Rachel was here. I, okay. Let's go here. Oh, yeah, that's the basement door. We're going upstairs. We gotta find the key to the basement. The door was stuck shut. There was an old-fashioned keyhole underneath the handle. So we needed a, two keys. Mm -hmm. I found... I had found the last missing piece of my wallet. The old photo... The old photo of Rachel and I stared back at me, reminding me of better times. It didn't make me feel terribly comfortable. Did I keep it anyway? No. There was no reason to hold on to old memories. I had my license and credit card back. That was enough. Our television. I'd purchased it before I knew I was going to lose my job. I felt pretty guilty about it afterwards, but then, but by then it was too late. So we have to go upstairs then. There's no key. Oh. Our hallway mirror had been smashed. It's pieces scattered around the floor. That's not questionable to you? Oh, my laptop had been left on and only a tiny bit of power left. On the screen was a website about the old water tower. There was a key in the top drawer of my desk. Did I take it? I pocketed the key. They, somebody had to have been on my computer for it to still have battery left in it. bathroom our sink which needed to be replaced one of the taps always got st always stuck but I hadn't got around to fixing it yet we were lucky enough to get a house with one of those wonderful old claw footed bathtubs yeah which has blood all on it which you're refusing to acknowledge oh we got a key from the drawer I just realized that we needed a key it's not basement <laughs> these were old Christmas decorations in the box there the garbage bags were stuffed with old paint cans and supplies there was a dirty old key here did I take the key yes I took the small key and tried to remember what it unlocked probably that room we'll come back basement or should I explore the rest of the basement let's do that first since we're already here there were old clothes, tools, and other things we obviously hadn't thrown out yet. I'd put up this divider wall last summer so we could create a separate room in the basement. I hadn't finished it yet so the door was stuck and the drywall was poorly installed. I might have been able to break through if I found something heavy enough. What? What are you putting over there? What do you need another room for? The grimy key I'd found in the basement unlocked the door. It looked like the room had been tossed around. The furniture was a mess. Did somebody break in here? Oh, that's a plant on the ground. There was an old crowbar on the floor. Did I need to take the crowbar? I lifted the heavy crowbar. I appreciated its weight. Okay, so that's a heavy thing. We can break through the wall with that. Did I break through the wall with the crowbar? Yes. 
With a heave, I swung the crowbar at the wall. I smashed a hole large enough to step through. As I stepped through the broken wall, my breath caught in my throat. This was it. Was, was Rachel down here? Was she okay? Don't look. That's a scary thought. Don't look, and there's blood. There's bushes? A filthy looking pile of rags had been dumped in the corner. The stench of them was awful and made my eyes water. I was terrified to even touch the pile to see what lay within, but I knew I had to. I had come this far. After all this searching, after all I had seen, when I looked within the rags, did I finally find my Rachel? No. Oh, good. <laughs> the rags were wet, matted, covered in dirt and grime. But inside that tattered mess was no sign of my beloved wife. Rachel wasn't there. I looked around in confusion, trying to figure out what to do next. If she wasn't there, where was she? What had I been searching for this entire time? I remembered the look on Rachel's face when I came home, didn't I? Then the awful realization hit me right in the gut. I'd been looking at this the wrong way, hadn't I? This is what you've been trying to tell me all along, isn't it? I couldn't find Rachel there, and I won't find her anywhere else because she was never there at all, was she? I stumbled back upstairs, the pain in my leg just a dull ache now, and sat down in our, my, bedroom. My mind was spinning, and the ache I felt before was near crippling. Finally, I could no longer fight the exhaustion, and as I tried to grab hold of something that would make sense of all this, I must have drifted off. I like to remember things my own way. I like to remember things my own way. That's the achievement I got. I... I guess these books were all actually mine then. It was my wallet with its contents intact. Either I dropped that stuff or somebody else did. Maybe I was sleepwalking again. Or maybe somebody stole it from me. Norman's store. That forest. The water tower. Was I at those places before? Yeah. I didn't see how it could have happened any other way. I must have been at, one of the, at, at the one to lose my wallet and its contents. But what does that mean? <coughs> Pile of mail on the floor. I now saw was addressed to me. Bills, credit card offers, a letter from the bank. They were all addressed to me. I wasn't going to leave. I had to at least get some answers first. My old office sa safe sat on the floor. I used to keep tax, re tax reports and other important documents in it. It used a digital passcode lock, but I didn't have the code. Maybe I'd left it somewhere. Eight names written alongside those old, odd marks in different colors were printed in that notebook. Heather, Olivia, Ashley, Cheryl, Iris, Daphne, Holly, Rose. I recalled the names I saw scratched out on that old desk, deep within those musty tunnels. Was the man in that house really up to something? It was the letter I had taken from the post box. It had gotten a bit wet in the rain. But if, well, who wrote that letter then? Who was Norman seeing? Oh no, Norman. If I was wrong about Rachel, then what about him? Did I do that horrible thing to him? No. I couldn't have. I clearly wasn't seeing things correctly, but no. I could never do something like that. It was the photo of the other man and his wife that I found in that house. Were those really his wife's remains in those tunnels? I cer it certainly seemed so. What did I think? Did the other man murder his wife and bury her in those tunnels? Yes. He must have. What else did that mean? There were some questionable things in those tunnels. What else was he wrapped up in? It was the keycard I found in the factory, the one that allowed me to slip through that door. It seemed to me that it was probably Norman's, but if 
that was true, what was he doing back at the plant? Do I think Norman was going back to the factory? Yeah. Who else would it have been? Norman, what were you doing back there? The laptop was dead, but I found some notes and loose paper in the drawer where I had found the key. There was a yellow sticky note with an eight-digit code on it. Did I take it? Yes. The code looked like it might be for the safe, but what kind of phrase was that? The code I found should have let me access the safe. Did I try to open it? Yes. There was a poorly framed photo of what looked to be a small headstone in a graveyard. It was tucked away peacefully under a beautiful old maple tree. Underneath it was another sheet of paper. This looked like some kind of printout of an MRI. It showed the top view of a brain scan. I noticed the bottom of the scan had two whitish patches on it. I didn't recognize either image. Finally, at the bottom of the pile was a simple white envelope. The front of it read, Do not open until I tell you. I guess this was as good a time as any to see what was inside. Did I open the envelope and read what was inside? I got the trophy secret documents. I tore open the envelope and removed the yellow lined paper inside. On it was a letter written in a hand that looked familiar. The letter read, I know this whole event has probably been pretty difficult. You can't imagine how hard it's been for me, too. Well, maybe you can. That, w that isn't meant to be an excuse, but, well, I hope you can better understand why I've done what I've done. Moving to this town seemed like such a dream, a quiet place to get established, to live out our lives, and to be together. But you know as well as I do that things quickly changed. Your drinking was one thing, but as you grew more distant, as you retreated into that world of yours, well, it was clear you didn't need me as much. In fact, maybe you never needed me at all, but it took all this to make you realize. In the end, though, you may never forgive me for this. You may never forgive yourself, but this is probably for the best. You'll be healthier for this. I'm just sorry it had to happen this way, Rachel. So we did have a wife like that. We're not that crazy. How did he end up dead? When I came to, he was already on the floor. So we've, we've uncovered a lot of our mystery. We're just missing, I guess, a final piece. It seemed like I had seen all there was. Maybe, I thought, I was ready to go back into the basement. Maybe there wouldn't be anything for me to find, but I had to take a last look. There's gonna be something. It said don't look a bunch. Okay. The wall was cracked and pitted. I was told by an inspector the basement had been partially filled in before I bought the house. But by the look of that wall, I was going to need to fix the foundation. Everything smelled musty and old down there. That was it. With Rachel gone, I couldn't stand to be in that house a moment longer. Did I leave and say goodbye to that nightmare forever? Yes. Since I had arrived in town, things had been difficult. Working in the plant, though, had been good for me. It kept me in line, gave me something to do, and helped me get away from my past. When the factory closed, everything changed. I guess that was when I had started sleepwalking, disappearing for hours at a time. Drinking was probably just a way to deal with that. It was almost as if I was trying to beat my brain at its own game. Things stopped making sense sometime after that, and my memories of what happened are still in flux. I suppose that was when Rachel came along. This night had been the worst of my entire life. Would it even be possible to bounce back from everything that had happened? Everything I'd seen? You know... In a way, I almost wish I hadn't even woken up tonight. It would have spared me a lot of pain. That man I found in the old house had killed his wife. I was sure of it, just as sure as you killed mine. After making it out of those tunnels, I thought this, those sewers might feel safer. I was wrong. The security tape I had watched someone, I had watched someone showed being attacked by what looked like two people. But who was it that was attacked? And what had I been doing at Norman's place, or even in that old forest? It didn't look good, that's for sure. Had I been responsible for what had happened there? What did you think? Was I guilty? Or was I just mad? That forest, though, was no escape either. That notebook especially left me troubled. I remembered seeing a similar list on the desk back in the tunnels. Who were those girls mentioned there? I suspected there was more to the woods than I knew, though I had no intention of going back. Still, I knew that Norman had been going back to the factory, but I wasn't sure I understood why. The guard outside had obviously met a violent end, but do you think Norman—do you think it was Norman? 
At this point, do you think he was even dead? I had to catch my breath to take it all in. At each point until the factory, things only things had only gotten worse. But then going to Norman's store, that was where the confusion and doubt started to set in. That's when my perspective on all this really started to change. What were you doing with Rachel? I mean, what was going on? If all of this was a lie, then what was really happening? Someone had killed Norman in his store, but it wasn't me. Who else would have wanted him dead? But as painful as all of that was, oh no, I couldn't bear to think of, about it again. After all I had seen and done, finally coming home was supposed to be the end of this entire ordeal. I had no idea, though, that it was only the beginning. The silence in the house when I had first stepped through the kitchen door. That should have been my first clue. To think that I went through all of that, completely unaware of what I would discover. Did you know, before the end? Did you mock me when you finally showed me the truth? You don't know what's in, what it's like to have everything ripped away from you in a heartbeat. How could I possibly go on, now knowing what I do? Without Rachel, even the thought of Rachel, I was truly lost. As the door swung open, I could smell damp grass and the closeness of the air. After everything, it felt like I had more questions than answers. You made me see the truth. I'll give you that. But now I was completely lost. You took away the only thing that had kept me going. I was sure word would get out, and soon enough, the police would come looking for me. And then, uh, and what then? Would you be there to show me the way? What will I do then? Slipping away. So he, he's gone crazy. Well, that was a good playthrough. Uh, we unraveled a story. I don't know. I believe that it changes depending on your choices. But we were crazy. So I hope you guys enjoyed this, this run through of home. And I look forward to seeing you guys at the next game we play. I'll catch you guys later. And remember... Game on.